Oh. Wow. I look different. I've improved. <laughs> My post high school plans are to go to Wilfrid Laurier University and specialize in urban planning. Fanshawe for child and youth care. St. Clair for 2D through D animation. Both my brothers have not finished high school or graduated or even thought of going to college, so it actually feels like I am a part of something bigger than my family. If you're financially unstable, then you're like, can I really go to college without being in debt? Yeah, so you just feel very caged. You can make money in different ways, so it doesn't worry me anymore now. For me, I got a job at a young age. I started saving money. I still don't have enough money to go to college, but I'm going to apply for grants and everything that I can. I am excited for my future because I want to have a family of my own and be able to have a, my own house. The impact Liam and the other support coaches have had on me is really like encouragement because it's like a family dynamic between us. We can go to them about like anything, any issue that comes up. We don't have to worry about it financially. We don't have to worry about it mentally. We can just go to them and just like let it all out. And they help us find ways to overcome anything that comes our way. It's helped me stay in school because I know there's a lot of money riding on this that's gonna help me with my future. And um, I feel like the mentors, like you guys, you, Liam, Joe, Megan really push us to not go off the rails entirely because, I mean, yeah, guys actually care, you know. They're always asking about our grades, if we have homework, and they're just always on us, like in a good way. They're, they just want to help us, like, become a better person and with school. It's just helped me become more comfortable with myself and talking to people, and it's introduced me to a lot of new opportunities. Being blessed with the money to go to college and getting the chance that I never would have had without this program. The Contract to Success program probably like give us a little bit more hope because like there is the financial struggles and then like the tutoring would help because I slack, <laughs> slack and uh, it just makes like my dad more like hopeful about like how things are gonna go I guess, which is a good feeling. Knowing people believe in me and. Uh, want the best for me is like inspiring and makes me want to work harder and do things that I previously thought were impossible. It makes me feel worth something, like worth a good future, worth living, I don't know. Everyone has the point in their life where they're just like, I don't want to do this. I don't even believe in myself. And to have someone there that believes in you, it's just like, okay, I can do this, I will do this, and I will do great things with my life. It's also nice to know that if you are failing, there's someone there to, that believes in you to like raise you up. It makes me feel loved. It's, it's, love is indescribable. Thank you for supporting us for four years and just believing in us for the entire time. You never gave up, you never stopped supporting. I don't know if I would have been as successful in high school without them. When I was younger, nobody really believed in me. Nobody brought me along with the words to say that they're proud of me. Nobody told me that they had my back. But I recognize that this program brings way more to the table than just tutors and just money. Like I said earlier, they, they give time. They give all the time that's needed. And when these people come and they just smile and they let me know that I'm loved and that they believe in me, it's, it's the biggest encouragement to me. And it makes me just, it makes me just truly aspire to be more. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? Happy and excited and proud of myself. They didn't think I was gonna pass high school, they thought I was gonna drop out but I proved them wrong tremendously. I have the chance to be valedictorian. I have everything's looking up. And the one thing that my grandfather did say to me before, the last time I saw him before I passed away was, um, the sky's the limit and you're reaching for the stars. And I truly am, I'm reaching for the stars. <laughs>